Good morning, dear students. Oh. In standard one, we have studied about numbers in your maths class. Yes, even in standard two, standard three, in maths, we are continuously studying about numbers. We have studied one digit, two digits, three digits number. So let us read what are one digit numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then our two digits starts from ten to ninety-nine. And then our three digits starts from one hundred to nine hundred and ninety-nine. Correct? Okay. I have written some examples of two digits and three digits. Two seven twenty-seven, eight four eighty-four. Nine six ninety six, one zero seven one hundred and seven, three five two that is three hundred and fifty two. So when we take the one digit number and join them, we can form two digits, three digits. Even in Abacus, children, I have shown you some example of two digit and three digit. I have drawn first example. I have drawn. In ones place, there are two beads, and tens place, three beads. So the number becomes thirty-two. The next example, ones place, there are four beads, tens place, two beads, and in hundred place, there are five beads. So the number we read it as five hundred and twenty-four. So this was about two digit and three digit, which we have studied in our previous class. Do you remember? Yes. Now, we will study about four-digit number and five-digit number. First, I will introduce you with four-digit number. Let's recollect first which is the smallest three-digit number. The smallest three-digit number is one hundred, and the greatest three-digit number is nine hundred and ninety-nine. Correct. Today we are going to study four-digit number. So the four-digit number should be greater than three-digit number, isn't it? So how this four-digit number is formed? When we add one to the greatest three-digit number, we get smallest four-digit number. So let us take the greatest three-digit number, nine hundred and ninety-nine. Add one to it. We get one thousand. In one thousand, you can see units place is zero, tens place is zero, hundreds place is zero, and the fourth digit, that is thousands place, there is one. So we say, children, in last line, I have written one thousand is the smallest four-digit number, and we read it. As O N E one T H O U S A N D thousand, so it becomes as one thousand. Let us see few more examples how four-digit numbers are formed on abacus. So let's see how we write four-digit number on abacus. On the extreme right, we write U, it is units. Then to its left, there is T, tens. Then to its left is H hundred, and to its left we write it as T H, which represent as thousand. So now we see we will see some example on abacus. Four digit numerals on abacus, children. See one example I have shown you in the box. There on that abacus I have drawn some beads. In one's place there are no beads. In tens place, I have drawn four beads. Hundreds place, there are two beads, and in thousand place, there is one bead. So then, what will be the number? Let us read. So the number becomes one thousand two hundred and forty. Now we will see more examples of four-digit number on abacus. See the first example. In first example, you can see in ones place how many digits are there? 
there are five beads. Tens place there are four beads. Hundreds place there are two beads. And in thousand place there is three beads. So the number becomes three thousand two hundred and forty five. Next abacus let us see. In ones place there are two beads. Tens place there are six beads. Hundreds place there are three beads. And in thousand place there are five beads. So the number becomes five thousand three hundred and sixty two. Children, I have written in words also. So you can copy this in your notebook. Next, we will see read and writing of four digit numbers. So here, first we will read the number and write those number in words. Again, I have used on top you can see U, T, H and T, H. So thousands, hundred, tens and units. First example, 3421. In words also I have written 3421. Let us read the second example. 5274. Next example. 7382. Children read along with me. Next example. 9489. Next. 9900. And 99. So we have seen some examples of four digit number. Children, one important point to remember 1000 is the smallest four digit number, and 9999 is the biggest four digit number. So, children. We have seen how four digit numbers are formed, reading and writing and representing it on abacus. Now we will do about five digit numbers. Now let me introduce you five digit number. How we get a five digit number? When we add one to greatest four digit number, we get smallest five digit number. So which is your greatest four digit number? The greatest four digit number is 9999. Add 1 to it. And what we get now? We get a 10,000 which is the smallest five digit number. Correct? Count the five digit number. Are there five digits in 10,000? Yes, there are five digits in 10,000. So when we count from extreme right, that is units, then tens, hundred, thousand and to the extreme left it comes you as ten thousand so there are five digits in it correct now we will see some examples of five digit number on abacus here there are some examples of five digit number on abacus let us take the first example in one's place there are two beads tens place there are four beads Hundreds place seven beads, thousands place three beads, and extreme left ten thousand place there are six beads. So when we write this in number form, so the number becomes sixty three thousand seven hundred and forty two. Look at the second picture. In second abacus, in one's place there are two beads. Tens place, there are no beads. So, there are, we write zero bead for it. In hundreds place, there are two beads. Thousands place, there are three beads. And ten thousand place, there are five beads. So, how we frame this number now? It is written as 53,202. The third and fourth abacus, children, I want you to count the beads in one stands hundred thousand and ten thousand place and frame the number. So both examples we will draw and then write those numbers. 
Now we will see how to read and write those now five digit numbers. In extreme right we write U, then to its left T, to its left H and then to its left TH and then to its extreme left we write TTH. So we read at 10,000, 1000, 100, tens and units. So when on numbers we write this it is easy for us to read the number. Let us take the first example. 3, 2, 5, 3 and 6. These digits are given. So how we will read this number? 32,536. I have written in words also. 32,536. Second example. 48,659. Children read along with me. 48,659. Next example is. 90,728. Next, 87,648. Children, when we write in words, we should take a note of our spellings. We should be correct spelling. Write each and every number correct spelling. So, I hope you understood about four digit and five digit numbers to frame it on abacus, write the number from abacus and even in words. Okay, thank you children.